The Kakadu Plum is an Australian native superfood containing 100 times more vitamin C than oranges. So why have you never heard of it? PR. No one's drinking a Kakadu smoothie? I'm JB Smooth, and that was a full episode of my new podcast, Straightforward. Inspired by guaranteed straightforward pricing from AT&T Fiber. Get what you want without the complicated. AT&T Fiber, live like a gagillionaire. Available wherever you get your podcast. Limited availability in select areas. Visit at and slash hypergig with details. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. Time is running out to score adult theme park tickets at child prices from undercover tourists. This summer, make your Walt Disney World vacation more affordable than ever. Escape into a place where magic has the power to transport you into stunning worlds and your favorite stories for less. Buy from undercover tourists and authorized seller and link to official Walt Disney World apps so you can add on Genie Plus and Lightning Lane upgrades easy. Book your adult theme park tickets at child prices with undercover tourists now and save. UndercoverTourist.com This episode is brought to you by Navy Federal Credit Union. At Navy Federal, it's been the mission to help the military community for over 90 years. And not just help them, but do everything to make sure they not only grow, but flourish. That's why Navy Federal Credit Union has all kinds of great savings and investment options, like share certificates with sky-high rates. So don't hesitate. Start growing your finances today with a variety of savings and investment options. Navy Federal Credit Union. Our members are the mission. Savings products insured by NCUA. Investment products are not insured. Not obligations of Navy Federal and may lose value. Episode 403, How to Make the Most of Yard Sales. Welcome to the Frugal Friends Podcast, where you'll learn to save money, save money embrace simplicity, embrace and live a richer life. life. Here are your hosts, Jen and Jill. <clears throat> Welcome to the Frugal Friends Podcast. My name is Jen. My name is Jill. And today we are on the cusp of yard sale season. Mm. Some of us are already in it. And so we're going to talk about what to do, how to make the most of all these yard sales you're about to be seeing when you're driving home, Mm. you're driving to school Friday mornings, you're driving all over the place, you're seeing the yard sales, but you don't want to stop by because... Who knows if you have time? Like, is it even worth it? Yard sales. Who does yard sales anymore? Everybody uh, just donates to the thrift store, right? N- no. 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 No, yard sales exist. Yeah. I love yard sales so much. You all already know this. Jill is a hunter. And I don't think I realized that there's actually tips to be had. I thought, ah, I don't know what to say about yard sales. You just show up. And then as I'm reading through this, I'm realizing, oh, yeah, there is a decent amount to know about how to do this thing as best as possible. So Mm -hmm. I'm real excited to get into it. Yes. But first, uh, this episode is brought to you by Vintage Star Wars Merch. It's the stuff of yard sale glory stories. Someone's mom doesn't know how important that Star Wars Lego set is, and you have an upon it at $10. What a steal. What a dream. The Force was with you. The Force will also be with you if you sign up for the friend letter, because... While it's not very often you come upon very valuable things at a yard sale, it is very possible you will come across something valuable in the friend letter because we send it out three times a week full of tips, full of stories that you can get some glory out of. So head to frugalfriendspodcast.com and sign up for the friend letter and may the fourth be with you this weekend. Mm-hmm. Wow, you really wanted to weave in May the fourth. I did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. I don't you got know. There. I don't know if it's because it's so close to my birthday, but I love May the fourth. <laughs> I do like p- Pi Day, whatever. I don't care about it. All these other like made up. There's March tenth is Mario Day. Mar M A R I O is ten. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't care about them. <laughs> but I do love May the 4th. You do love you. Star Wars. So. Um, and so I think everybody else, I have I have a love of May the 4th and I have <laughs> I have a love with a little bit more hesitation for for yard sales. And a lot of you said the same thing. So we asked you guys, um, do you shop yard sales? And most of you said, yes, but I don't go out of my way for them. And that's kind of how... I am. Um, A lot of you said, yes, I love them. And then there were just a few, like a few that were like, I don't like the hunt or I prefer thrift stores. So 
we are really going to tailor this for our for our people who maybe want are already interested in yard sales and want to just get better at it. Want to want to know, feel more confident so that you maybe will be willing to go out of your way try it a few times. Yeah, because I on the other hand <laughs> am the person who does a full on Yui when mm-hmm. I see a yard sale sign. <laughs> yes. I yeah, I I am not uh I know a lot of people have the same feelings as I like I'm not big on digging through things or <laughs> trying to get a bargain. Um there was just like a, I felt seen in a lot of these. Mm, mm. Um, I prefer thrift stores. That way, no one is offended if I don't buy anything. It's so <laughs> kind, That's so, so polite. True. I don't. I, that is sometimes awkward when you go and you look, mm-hmm. and then you don't want them to be offended when you don't want yep. their stuff. But yep. remember, they don't want it either. So they're not offended. True, you know that's what I think. I was like, you didn't want this either, (laughs) but you Uh, do want money for it, and I'm not going to give you money for it. Right. Um. So yeah, this this will be a fun one. And if you're interested in stuff like this, we do have episode 341: Why You Shouldn't Sleep on Estate Sales. We love estate sales. Honestly, I'm a I put an estate sale a little bit above a yard sale. Is, yeah. 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 So we're too. just going to say in the hierarchy, we're going we're going a state sale is number yeah, one. So sure. definitely check out episode 341. Um, and then episode 298, no cost ways to be more eco friendly, because we do think shopping estate sales, yard sales, thrift stores. It's just that it's the kind way to buy. Mm-hmm. If you want to be kind, shop secondhand. For so many reasons. It's so great. So let's get into this first article. It comes from Apartment Therapy and it is titled Nine Tips for Scoring Deals at Yard Sales All Summer Long from a Seasoned Pro. So we're going to go through it. The first one is to plan out your route ahead of time. Now, this is for the people who No, you want to do yard sailing this weekend. You've carved out the morning on Saturday or Sunday and you are looking for some specific things. It's worth planning out a route. So first of all, you want to look for where are the yard sales happening? They recommend Craigslist and newspapers. And at first I was like, "Mm, what are you talking about? But they made a good point that it seems archaic, but some of your older folks who have maybe some vintage items, some items that were just made real well, lasted a real long time. This is These are the places that they may be advertising their sale. So check Craigslist and your local newspaper, but also see if your city has a local yard sale page on Facebook. I also like to use Garage Sale Finder and Yard Sale Search. Those are some really great websites uh, to be looking at and find out, all right, what's in your area and then plan out so that it makes sense. You're not driving Mm -hmm. all over the place and you kind of know where you want to hit. But a lot of times too, they will describe what's going to be at each of these yard sales. So you also want to map out, well, this place says they've got the tools and the furniture. So let's make sure we get there first. And then, so you want to take two things in mind, like not just your route and what makes sense driving wise, but what makes sense for what each sale says that they have. Yeah, this is really nice. Facebook Marketplace is a really great place to find garage sales too. I think, think about wherever you would post if you were going to host a yard sale, where would you post it? And those are going to be popular places to find good ones. I, I will see when I'm looking on Marketplace all the time, pictures of things that people are going to be selling. They'll usually post them on Wednesday or Thursday um, if they're a Friday, Saturday, Sunday sale. Yeah. 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 You can know ahead of time. So the next tip is to take small bills. Um, But I'm going to I maybe this is just me. I'm going to push back on that because so many people are taking Zelle and Venmo. I don't think you really need to worry about cash anymore. But for older people who don't want to do Zelle or Venmo, uh, taking smaller bills so that you can make change. Mm -hmm. Um, If you want to reduce the price of a $20 item to 16, but you don't have ones, that's going to be really hard. 
like yeah. to to convince. I will say all of the art sales I've been to recently, it has been cash. I don't totally know what's going on for people, but there's quite a bit of folks who don't feel comfortable doing the electronic exchange. I don't know if they feel as though, well, I don't know you. What if it doesn't go through? What if there's a glitch? But I, I'd say it's a lot of sales do still do cash. And I found myself in a lot of situations where I don't have either any bills on me or they're too large. So it can really cut into my ability to negotiate if I really talk someone down or I'm like, I've only got a five on me. Like that can help. (laughs) Whereas like if you're pulling out 20s and 50s, I don't know. It just can look tacky. Yeah, I would say carry a couple small bills and then try Venmo. I mean, I've been to some yard sales where it's I I can do Venmo very easily because yeah. you're right there in person. I would rather do Venmo at, and not everybody loves Venmo, but my bank, my credit union doesn't use Zelle, so it's harder for me to use that. Um, but I can just scan it right in person mm-hmm. um, versus I know Travis will prepay for things on Venmo when he's doing Facebook marketplace transactions. And that makes me feel uncomfortable. I would like to be in person, in person with yeah. someone Agreed. with the product in my hand. Um, and so, yeah. So, but know that you don't, if you stop by yard sale and you don't have cash, you it's not ask. always a deal breaker. Yeah. So true. Okay. Okay negotiate for a discount. You know that we love a good negotiation on everything bills wise and at (laughs) yard sales. Now, I will say this is definitely the place to be kind with your negotiation. I, I have done my fair share of yard sales, putting on yard sales, and people will like, will you take 10 cents? Will you take 25 cents on something that's marked for like $10? So be reasonable. But th- these are just people at their house marking the stuff that they don't want anymore at probably some version of an arbitrary price. You can absolutely negotiate. One of my favorite things is to bundle together. So make sure that you've done your round of the whole yard sale, that you found all the things that you want. And then ask for, hey, would you take X amount of money for all of these items? And have your price in mind. Don't just say, what would you take for this? But would you take $3, $5? Uh, A lot of times I, I can say, I think I've been successful just about every time. Maybe on some bigger items, people might say, nah, I'd rather hold out. And you can make up your mind from there. But I'll always negotiate. Mm hmm. Uh, next is timing your arrival. And so they say th- they have two recommendations, arrive at the sale early or get sales near closing time. And the tactic you choose will be different depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something specific, definitely go to these websites, Facebook Marketplace, Facebook Groups, look at what these sales have. If you see something you want, now normally I would say these things, it's going to be the stuff that didn't sell on Facebook Marketplace. Because if I have something I want to sell, I'm going to just post it on Facebook Marketplace. I'm Mm -hmm. not really going to host a yard sale for it. So temper your expectations with it. Uh, But you could find a gem. And if you find a gem in a picture, then make sure you're reaching out to the seller and be like, I'm going to be there at the start of your sale um, mm-hmm. f- for this item. And they're they're not going to hold it for you. They are going, whoever is there first with cash will get the item. But to just let them know, like, um, I, you know, I really want this. Because then they might say, well, hey, if the sale starts Friday, if you can pick it up Thursday evening, I'll, you know, I'll give you a discount. Well, ask for a discount. Be like, hey, if I picked this up, you know, Thursday evening, then, you know, would you give me like X amount of dollars? And sometimes they'll say yes. Um, But if you see something you want, you're going to want to get there early, but not too early. 
if the sale starts at seven, do not show up at five thirty. No, do not do it. Mm-mm. You had this experience with mm-hmm. the estate sale mm-hmm. with your mom. How mm-hmm. early were people showing up? Oh, two hours early. We opened the garage door, and there were literally people. There was this woman whose head was down, trying to <laughs> poke <laughs> under the garage door as it was lifting. She was lifting her head up with the garage. Like <laughs> this is not Black Friday at. <laughs> some massive store. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you think this is. Yeah. So it was um, wild. So that, yeah, get early. Do not show up on time. Yeah. Or maybe 15 minutes early. Uh, But but sit there. If they look like they they don't want you, just wait until they said that the thing was going to start. If there's something specific you want, you can say like, hey, I'm just here for X Mm -hmm, thing. mm -hmm. You know, I'm not here to rush you, but I know I really want X. Uh And they're usually going to be chill with that. Yeah. You know, they don't want, they just mm -hmm. don't want people all up and on their business and every table browsing while they're trying to set up. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what we said. We're like, you can look, but we're not going to be ready to take money until the, the time that the sale starts. Yeah. But I will say too, for the reasons to show up early or late, if you see that there are things that are going to go quickly. So things like tools, furniture, collect like an- antique stuff. Picture frames. Yeah. Oh my you gosh. Picture, picture frames, frames went like hot cakes. It was crazy. So if you see that there's things that will go fast, then that's when you want to show up early if they're things that you want. If you're kind of just there to browse and you've got a few knickknacky items on your list of things that you're looking to buy in the future, then show up late. That's when you can kind of get the deals, pick through what's left over and and really score a deal. Mm -hmm. What else was surprising to you that went fast? Was it the exercise equipment? Exercise equipment. equipment. Yeah. Yeah. And as I'm looking on the internet, that is what people are saying. Exercise equipment will go fast. I knew tools would go fast, but that was true. Mm -hmm. Everybody was showing up real early to be Mm -hmm. able to, and the tools went, I would say, within the first three to four hours of the sale. Mm -hmm. The first people there got the best tools. Uh, Yeah. And then exercise equipment, which it's it's expensive. So it is. Yard sales are a great spot to be able to find those gardening tools. We'll get into more of that. But again, if you know the sale has the items that you want and you also know those things are going to go fast, that's when you show up early. And then last on my list is to take time to look at and inspect items before you buy them. Obviously, there is no return policy at a yard sale. Once you leave, they close up shop and they go back to their normal lives and it's not not a store anymore. So make sure that the item works, the zippers work, at least to your liking. If it's broken, make sure you know that you can fix it. It's the worst thing ever to get home and realize (laughs) you just paid for somebody's junk that is now your junk. Also ask to plug in electronics if there's something that you're purchasing and you want to make sure that it works. That's not an uncommon thing. A lot of people even at their yard sales will have a extension cord out to the driveway for this very reason to be able to test items. Hey guys, LeVar Arrington here to tell you the national sales event is on at your Toyota dealer, making now the perfect time to get a great deal on a dependable new truck like a rugged half-ton Tundra. Combining raw capability with premium comfort and advanced tech to fuel your wildest adventures. Or check out the fully redesigned Tacoma, delivering trail-dominating power and captivating style. The new Tacoma was born to make your off-roading dreams come true. Check out more national sales events this when you visit buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. AI might be the most important new computer technology ever. It's storming every industry and literally billions of dollars are being invested. So buckle up. The problem is that AI needs a lot of speed and processing power. So how do you compete without costs spiraling out of control? It's time to upgrade to the next generation of the cloud. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or OCI. OCI is a single platform for your infrastructure, database, application development, and AI needs. OCI has four to eight times the bandwidth of other clouds, offers one consistent price instead of variable regional pricing, and of course, nobody does data better than Oracle. So now you can train your AI models at twice the speed and less than half the cost of other clouds. If you want to do more and spend less like Uber, 8x8, and Databricks Mosaic, 
Take a free test drive of OCI at oracle.com slash strategic. That's oracle.com slash strategic. oracle.com slash strategic. Today, I'm going to give you some straightforward advice on how to deal with naughty kids. How about instead of timeouts, time ins? Time for you to start paying some bills. I'm J.B. Smoove, and that was a full episode of my new podcast, Straightforward. Inspired by guaranteed straightforward pricing from AT&T Fiber. Get what you want without the complicated. AT&T Fiber, live like a giggillionaire. Available wherever you get your podcast. Limited availability in select areas. Visit at slash hypergig for details. So our next article is from millennialmoney.com, and it is what to look for at garage sales. And I, uh, yeah. This is an extensive list. We're not going to go through all of it. We're just going to go through our favorites because I don't necessarily know if I agree with all of them. No, definitely not. Well, here's the thing. The article was written more so for what to look for in order to resell the items. So that's not the perspective we're taking, but more so utilizing this article in a way of here's some things that yard sales will have a lot of times that can be worth your while. Because there's definitely things you don't want to buy at yard sales or really used at all. <laughs> but we'll let you think about that. <laughs> yeah. we'll let you come up with the answer to that question. But it's funny because question. I was looking at an article about what not to buy, and I totally disagreed with almost everything on that list. What was something they said not to buy? Like, don't buy a mattress. Don't buy electronics. Jill, you know how much flack I did. you gave I did. me for buying a mattress from Facebook Marketplace? I did. I did. I did. But I changed my tune because I understood that there could be people who resell mattresses that were like never used. You know, these mattress companies who ship out mattresses. I was buying brand new mattresses. Yes. I didn't realize that there's a whole system happening around, Mm -hmm. this is a sidebar note, but important probably for people to realize when you order a mattress online and it's shipped to your door and it's one of those like non-box spring, it's rolled up. And pretty much every company gives you a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can try it out. And there's plenty of people who try out these mattresses for a week or two and decide, I don't want it. So they send out typically third-party companies to pick up these mattresses. What they don't tell you and they can't tell you, you find out later, is that those people are allowed to resell those mattresses as long as they go through a certain um, set of requirements for cleaning it. Mm-hmm. So and then they give a kickback to And then they the give company. a kickback to the company. Yes. Yep. So these people exist all over the nation. And when she says company, she means a dude with a truck and a warehouse. So yeah, that's yeah, yeah, where yeah, I yeah, bought yeah. our mattress. Well, but I mean they give a kickback to Nectar or Oh right, but Luna the third party company the third you're party. That, that picks up the mattress. Yeah. It's a dude with it's a, a dude truck with and a truck. warehouse. Uh-huh. Making yeah. or even just like his garage. <laughs> but they do <laughs> have to like because they are still connected with the mattress company, mm-hmm. there are sets of requirements of cleaning it. So if you know what kind of mattress you want, it is definitely worthwhile to oh, look yeah. on Facebook Marketplace for that and be able to tell is this person reselling these mattresses? says you you can even ask them if it kind of looks like this seller has 15 mattresses for sale what's going on yeah that's what's going on yeah and you show up for one and you can try several in the warehouse right which is what we did yeah so so yes i would buy mattresses used in that regard and yes no. i would buy electronics like there were so many things i'm like why would you not how our tune has changed uh-huh. i remember uh-huh. how uh yeah how ashamed yeah. you made me I'm feel. Ca- I'm capable of change. <laughs> I can change my mind. Okay, yeah, but uh, yeah. For s- somebody else's mattress, I also sold one of my mattresses once to somebody else on Facebook Marketplace. As long as it's been inside and you can see the inside is clean, yeah. you're probably safe. Yeah. You know, like that's my thinking. Yeah. I've bought a mattress off of somebody's bed and I walked into the house the house felt clean. I felt clean. I'm less likely to do that, especially because of how inexpensive mattresses are. Like, I don't need your 15-year-old mattress. Well, these, I've but... never bought a mattress that old. Mm-hmm. It's been like, 
that you know of. It's been like, you know, they've had it for six months. Mm -hmm. They were trying to make it work. It's already past the 100 day trial. Mm -hmm. And they're just they're done forcing themselves to live a lie. Yeah. I, I guess ultimately, yeah, there hardly is anything I wouldn't buy at a yard sale that I wouldn't just normally buy secondhand. Like yeah. there are just things I won't buy secondhand, but it has nothing to do with whether or not it's at a yard yeah. sale. So yeah, you decide, but I think anything is possible. You can buy electronics, test them out. You can- Anything's Anything is possible. possible. <laughs> but some of our favorites, so I'm using this I list as a- I thinking of the song Miracles Happen. <laughs> Miracles happen. Jill changes her mind. Sales. When you believe. I think especially for the people who might be a little bit reticent, this is a our reasons for going to yard sales. Here are the types of things you can be looking for and find that you most likely do already need. The mm -hmm. types of things you are going to a store to buy brand new for, it's very possible you could find used. So one of my favorites on here is kitchen items. I have gotten so many of my kitchen items at yard sales uh, and thrift stores too, but certainly yard sales. I, again, I keep a list of things that I want to purchase in the future and I wait for the deal that I can find. So I've got my handy dandy list with me. One of the things I recently got was a salad spinner. It wasn't a must have. It was a nice to have. So I didn't need to get it new, but I was able to wait check out yard sales for a salad spinner. Next on my list is a slotted spoon. I believe I can find that at a yard sale. I don't need to go pay $8 this for it so brand true. new. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot a lot of the stuff that you're going to find at that's going to be good to look for at garage sales is like what is something that I don't want to I don't want to like I don't not want it enough that I'm just going to throw it in a box to take to the thrift store. But I don't want it enough that if I could get some money for it, I would keep it. And so for me, the first thing that I would think of that is also on this list is games, like board mm -hmm, games. Mm -hmm. Like, what if I use it? I want to keep it. I don't want to just put it in the thrift store. But if I'm doing a yard sale and I'm looking for more things to put out at the yard sale, I'm going to start then looking at my board games. Because if yeah. I can make a little money off of it and do some decluttering, I will. Otherwise, I'll just put it back. Yeah. You know, uh, no love loss. So board games... Um, really any kind of games could mm -hmm. be really good to look for at garage sales. Yeah, because they are expensive. And a lot of mm -hmm. times there's there's a life to your games. Yes. Most people, you get really into a game for a couple of months and then it's just clutter in your house. So being able to kind of switch things out and keep things fresh without paying 20 to $30 for a brand new board game. Yeah. And of video course, games. Sometimes you're going to come across the games that are missing pieces and that's where you just get to be creative yeah, with but, what you utilize. Yeah. Video games. Somebody will finish yeah. a video game and want to hold on to it for like a nostalgia, but then they're having a yard sale, you can make some money, you put it out there. So yeah, games for sure. One of my new favorites too that is also on this list is clothing. Now, hear me out because I get it that you really can't try on clothing unless it's a jacket or shoes or something. But if you have a pretty good sense of your sizing or you are able to come across brands that someone is reselling that is in your size, I'm and especially if you're only paying like a quarter to 50 cents to a dollar, it's kind of no harm, no foul if it ends up being, ah, this didn't fit just right. I'm, I'm not saying to be wasteful with it, but it's a reason to give clothing a chance. This has been my favorite recently, especially at the yard sales of older people. There are these women out there, at least in our area, who have had the money throughout their life to buy the nice clothing, the good fabrics that... People who had money growing up and were <laughs> able to buy affordable homes. Or now in they're their in youth. their 60s and, you know, they've come across money throughout their decades. <laughs> and they were able to buy the nice things alimony. that are still lasting. I have some beautiful pieces of clothing that came from my... 60 to 70 year old friends who happen to be the same size as me getting rid of clothing. It's my favorite. It's now my favorite. 
I'm going to these yard sales looking for the clothing of the, my older, wiser women. Jill is Jill is lucky because her taste is um, <laughs> sixty year Careful. old woman. Careful. <laughs> That's her fashion. Like if I could describe it, it would be. Not old, but not young. Okay. It would be right. mature woman. Mature. Yeah. <laughs> Something um, corporate. <laughs> Something a little corporate. Wow. Uh, so I don't have that luxury because mine is probably, I don't know what my, it's grunge mom <laughs> is my style, I think. There you go. And grunge you, mom. Listen, you can totally find Something grunge corporate. mom clothing. Something corporate grunge mom. <laughs> you can find grunge mom clothing too. But I think sometimes I'll go to I'll go to yard sales and it's just people's worn out old navy t-shirts and that's not what I'm talking about. That unless is actually that's my style. What you're into. That's somebody's worn out old but navy shirt. Don't sleep on our older friends selling their top tier quality fabric going to last you a long time clothing. Yes. I would say I would add to that, like, well, just the notoriously well-made garments. So skiing, um, puffer jackets, um, winter coats, stuff like that, that is notoriously made well. That because even if somebody's buying like maybe cheap fast fashion clothes, you I mean, most people will invest in a good quality jacket. Uh Uh-huh. And most of them, when they move to Florida, get rid of them. Yes. Uh, so <laughs> they bring them down here not knowing. Check out the thrift stores in Florida. Yeah. For your winter clothing. <laughs> they are fantastic. Um, so my next one is going to be sports equipment, especially for kids. Now, my children are not athletic. Um, one of them can't walk yet. You know, so like, right, right. But he is climbing. He he's is not climbing. he's not walking, but he's climbing. Right. And so we we got his climbing gear at the yard sale. <laughs> uh, but sports equipment for, you know, ki- like all these kids doing sports, growing yeah. out of their sports stuff so quickly. And that stuff gets put in a box in the garage until there's a yard sale. And then, oh, I remember it's, those are things that you spent so much money. People have sunk cost fallacy on that. And we spend so much money on the soccer cleats. They use them for one season. I don't want to give them to the thrift store. But it's also too much to all list out individually on Facebook Marketplace. So we put the whole box out in the yard yep. sale. Kids, everything. Most yard sales these days are children's items. Please don't buy another toy or clothing item at full price. Just just drive through your neighborhood on Saturday. You're going to find kids clothing, kids toys at a fraction of the cost. It just is the best way to get things for your children that are going to grow out of them, lose interest in them. But I love the sports equipment idea because I was just walking through Walmart and seeing all the, all the pads and the cleats, like you're saying, and the special socks. And that's so expensive, especially if you have mm-hmm. multiple children and they're going to be doing sports throughout the year. Check out your yard sales first. Be thinking ahead about the activities that they're going to be engaging in this fall and start to get those items now in the summer at yard sales. Or let those items inspire you on what sports to put your kids in. It's like, oh, (laughs) we have the cleats. Johnny's doing soccer soccer in the fall. That's how I got our bird. We bought a bird (laughs) cage. Yes. We bought a bird cage first at a yard sale because the bird cage was very cool. 100% true story. I didn't know this. Yes. The bird cage was a very cool bird cage. I wanted it. We bought it. And then we were like, well, I guess we should go get a bird Ah! to put in here. So we went to a bird farm. We got a bird. And mm-hmm. like an aviary? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. And we got a little parakeet. Yeah. Pequeno. And Eric Sweet taught Pequeno. him how to beat box. It was so And cute. he was adorable. Wow. Oh, uh-huh. Pequeno. Yeah. He's still alive. We just had to give him to a friend. That's another story. I also <laughs> like to look at tools. Tools, 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 tools. Especially, this is, I mean, only true for you DIYers. You people who are going to use tools, don't buy tools if you won't use them. But if you do need them, definitely check out your yard sales for that. Again, that's what you're going to want to show up to early for. 
I love adjacent to this pots and plants at yard sales. And that'll be advertised in the pictures or in the description of the yard sales. But if you are looking for, we all know if you have plants, especially big pots are very expensive. And a lot of Mm -hmm. times you can find them at more reasonable prices at yard sales. And people will even often get rid of their plants. This one woman who I got some very lovely clothing from had planted an entire jungle in her yard. And she was selling a couple of the plants, but she saw my excitement over some of the things she was selling. And I was there at the very end of the yard sale that she just started taking clippings off of all the different plants that I was saying I loved. And I walked away with so much free stuff for my yard just because we struck up a friendship and I was there at the end of the day and I took an interest in her thing. So try my trick. And she gives you all her clothes now? (laughs) Yes, I should drive by. Just knock again. What else you got for me, Wendy? All right. The last one that we'll cover is holiday decor. Mm -hmm. Uh, So this is going to be in your this first yard sale of the year, honestly, is people getting rid of their holiday decor. It's either like, I don't know, people are like, oh, this. And for me, the tree we put up last year is on its last leg. Uh Like that was it. Yeah, I was like, we can't take this tree out again. So I got a tree, a really good quality one, half off. Nice. The, you know, the day after Christmas or whatever. And so now I will be looking to, I'm not going to sell mine um, because it's just, it's at it's at its end. Uh-huh. Um, but if I were going to, it would be at my first yard sale of the year. Because yes. I already know, I already have my other tree or I already know I'm going to get another tree still feeling the trauma from last Christmas's Charlie Brown tree. <laughs> like this, our tree tilt. Like uh-huh. it no longer stands up straight. Bless its heart. Uh, so ornaments, lights. I don't know. Everybody I've ever heard who gets a pre-lit tree, the lights go out they so go out. quickly. Mm-hmm. So we didn't get a pre-lit tree. We, Although I think the LED are lasting longer. So if you are going to get a pre-lit Look for LED. Yeah. But I mean, look for LED lights. Just yeah, in general. Just, yeah. And all of these things, people's, you know, first anniversary, first baby, um, first Christmas together ornaments, like put just decorate, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> So a lot of times holiday decor can look tacky in the summer. It looks like the spot you want to just walk past and not give any attention to. Mm -hmm. But think of your future self. If you are the person who finds yourself in Target November 15th wanting to buy all the stuff, harness that. Harness that now in the summer and recognize that you can get all of those things just a little Mm -hmm. early and save yourself so much money. Now, granted, you don't have to have holiday decor. You don't have to store holiday decor. You don't have to do any of that. But if you know you are the person who does do that, it brings do you it joy now because you yeah. will not get the good deal come Christmas time. Do not try to be someone you are not. If you uh-huh. are Ray Dunn <laughs> and you, I don't know who else is like very Christmassy. Yeah. If if that is you, D- do it at the yard her. sale. Get all of your knickknacks yes. and tchotchkes at the yard sale. And I will add to this cards and wrapping paper. I have never, never have I ever bought wrapping paper or cards full price at regular stores because you can find them at yard sales and sometimes the most adorable vintage wrapping paper and ribbons and cards. Get it there. Beautiful. Don't spend the money. Yeah. Do you know, but you know what you don't have to spend money on also. Uh, but you, and it's and you'll beautiful. actually never find it at a thrift store. You'll never find it at a state sale. You'll never find it at any sale because we own it. <laughs> the, the bill of the week. It's time for the best minute of your entire week. Maybe a baby was born and his name is William. Maybe you paid off your mortgage. Maybe your car died and you're happy to not have to pay that bill anymore. Duck bills, Buffalo bills, Bill Clinton. This is the bill of the week. 
Hello. Um, my name is Danielle and my bill of the week is, um, a car insurance bill. So my next installment was about to be pulled out and I checked my email about it and they had upped my coverage or not my coverage, but they upped the bill over $25, almost $30. And so when I talked to a representative about it, they said, oh, um, the prices have gone up in your area, so we can't really avoid it. Um, your next six months has to be, you know, $25 more than your last six months. And so I went to a different insurance and company and chatted with a representative, and they offered me 25 to $30 less than what I was already paying. And so I went back and said, hey, can you match this? And they said, no. (laughs) So I switched. But now I'm paying less in car insurance than I was even paying before. And that starts uh, this week. So I'm excited to, I'm I'm glad I paid attention uh, to what was going on. And um, now I feel like I have a few extra dollars a month to put towards something else. Danielle, girl, miracles happen once in a while. Whoa. When you call Okay. Oh, that's all we can do. You're just singing it so well. (laughs) We're gonna get sued. (laughs) Copyright issues. So good, Danielle. (laughs) You are you're the princess of the day. Princess of Genovia. It's I mean, all it takes is a call. Right. And you might sit on hold for a little while, but it's one day and it's going to save you so much more money than a bunch of other decisions you could make throughout your day when you're tired. Just make this one decision once a year to eliminate so many other spending decisions. So good for you, Danielle. Jill still I can't. <laughs> I can't. We just get to a certain point. But I'm point here, Danielle. In, I'm in the here day with and you. In episodes that, wow. For your big reveal. Princess of Genovia, you, you did it. You shopped around and you tried to negotiate. And yeah, you, you spent a little bit of time, saved some money, and you're just feeling on top of the world. We're on top of the world with you. If you all listening feel on top of the world, if you feel like a princess today and you want to share that in some version of a bill, visit frugalfriendspodcast.com slash bill. We are ready for it. Hey guys, LeVar Arrington here to tell you the national sales event is on at your Toyota dealer, making now the perfect time to get a great deal on a dependable new truck like a rugged half-ton Tundra, combining raw capability with premium comfort and advanced tech to fuel your wildest adventures. Or check out the fully redesigned Tacoma, delivering trail-dominating power and captivating style. The new Tacoma was born to make your off-roading dreams come true. Check out more national sales events when you visit buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Today I'm going to give you some straightforward advice on how to deal with naughty kids. How about instead of timeouts, time ins? Time for you to start paying some bills. I'm JB Smooth, and that was a full episode of my new podcast, Straightforward. Inspired by guaranteed straightforward pricing from AT&T Fiber. Get what you want without the complicated. AT&T Fiber, live like a giggillionaire. Available wherever you get your podcast. Limited availability in select areas. Visit at slash hypergig for details. Snag a job is where America goes to hire. With the deepest talent pool in hourly hiring. With access to over 6 million active hourly workers, Snag a Job is the all-in-one solution for hiring high-quality employees who can cover all your needs. On demand, tempt to hire part-time or full-time. You name the position. Warehouse worker, retail associate, grocery store clerk, fitness trainer, baker, stylist, bellhop, podcast producer. Yeah, Snag a Job's got a worker for that. With our easy-to-use platform, you're able to seamlessly post and fill available positions quickly with a dedicated customer support team to provide all the help you need along the way. Kind of nice knowing you have a talent pool like that in your own backyard, right? Snag a job is the partner you need to keep your business running smoothly. So visit snagajob.com or text snag to 242424 to talk to an expert. Snagajob.com, where America goes to hire. And now it's time for the lightning round. All right. For today's lightning vulnerability round round for today's vulnerability round, which princess diaries character are you? (laughs) I'm just kidding. 
What's the most recent thing you bought at a yard sale? Mm. Jill. Okay. I was at a yard sale not that long ago. I got one of those egg cartons for my fridge to organize my eggs in my fridge. Not worth it at the container store. Nope. Why? But when it's 25 cents, I'll tell you why. Okay, yeah, I just need to know why. I'll tell you why. Because they can hold more eggs than the egg carton thing that it comes with from the grocery store. So like you get eggs from the grocery store, there's 12 eggs in it. Then by the time I'm down to like two to four eggs, I buy another carton. Now I've got stacks of cartons, whereas with this one clear plastic carton, it holds like 18 eggs and I can more easily see how many I have. Mm. That's why. And it's because it was 25 cents. Perfect. So that makes sense for me. I'm not going to spend $12 on it. No way, no how. Nope. But I'm like, there you go. That's nice. Because I did have one before that I had also gotten at a yard sale and then it melted in my dishwasher. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah. So now I just don't wash it. But also a squeegee and also a curling iron. And I'm pretty sure I got all of that for $2. Just random stuff. We were just at the end of it. And it was like, yeah, I could use a curling iron for the guest bathroom because everybody's always asking me to borrow my curling iron. So here you go. This one looked clean and a squeegee for washing the car. So great. Mm -hmm. What about you? Oh, girl, I I can't tell you the last time I went to a yard Hold sale. Hold on. Let's, let's add in Facebook okay. Marketplace. Oh, well... Okay. Um, so that many is things. Like, that's yard sale -esque. adjacent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're gonna um we're getting a couch delivered tomorrow that yeah. we bought on Facebook Marketplace. Um I had so we have this very unique layout now in this new house um that would be better conducive to a corner couch that has the same, you know, width by length. Um, versus our regular couch. And yeah. so just so that we can have the right amount of seating. So we've been looking for an, a corner couch for probably six months. I would say six months on Marketplace. I found, and it's also, we're, uh, we're limited by the size. It's got to be like 96 to 98 inches uh -huh. both ways. So that's been another. There's, there's a lot of quarter couches, but they're all very big yeah. or very small. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> nothing in the middle. Right. Um, so we finally found one that we checked out yesterday. And it is not like the dream color or, or the dream style, but it is top grain leather. It is comfortable to sit on. It is the right size. It's We've got 98 inches and it is 97 inches. Mm -hmm. So it really is like it's got everything going for it. That's important. And it looks good. Nice. It's going to look good in the space and it's going to give us the right amount of seating for the layout. Nice. And I'm very excited yeah. to get it. That is, that is very exciting. I love it when we can find even some of the bigger items at yard sales or Facebook marketplace, because those are some heavy hitters too. Like it's great for me to find a curling iron for a dollar, but even better when you can find the couch you need mm -hmm. at a fraction of the cost. Thanks everyone for listening. We hope this inspired you to get out there and do some yard sales, Try but a few. only spend on things that you actually need. Make sure that you're bringing your list along. You're buying the things you need and use, but always considering secondhand first. Ah, uh, if you need more tips like this, you know we got a newsletter. You it's know. called the Friend Letter. It goes out three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We're in your inbox. We're giving you freebies, savings tips. One of the things I love that we're doing is deep dives on particular items. So, mm -hmm. like a recent uh, uh, Friend Letter that we did was on lawnmowers because they're going to be on sale soon. So like, what's the best type of lawnmower you can get? We've done pots and pans. So these things that can cost us a significant amount of money, but could last us a really long time, kind of how do we get the best bang yeah. for our buck? 
and then just money mindset hacks. We love to give you prompts to go into your weekend to think about your money. So it's all the things. We it's love a it. whole person approach. Mm-hmm. And our friend letter is an email that you can actually respond to with kind messages like this one from Katie, who wrote back to one of our friend letters and said, Ladies, I find the show very entertaining. I actually found you through the Choose FI podcast when I was trying to learn all the ways to vacation in Italy for almost free. I'm very new to the uh, financial independence scene and I didn't jump into no spend January because my husband and I were doing whole 30 in January. Yeah, that's a lot. However, we did live in the spirit of no spend January and sold a property that we held in a rural area. Now we have a nice chunk of change savings in a CIT high yield savings account. Yay. How awesome, fun, Katie. Katie. Oh, love. We love Brad over at Choose FI. Yeah. So such a fun podcast episode. And we've been hearing from so many of you who found us through that episode. That was such a good one. So thank you, Katie. Yeah. Thanks everyone for listening as well. If you want those freebies, savings tips, values-based spending hacks, uh, head to frugalfriendspodcast.com. Get that in your inbox. Also feel free to leave us a review if you're, if you're feeling it, if you're, if you're liking yeah. it. If you want to support us in a way that doesn't cost money, mm-hmm. we would love that. Frugal Friends is produced by Eric Siriani. All right, Jill. Um, if you don't have any relevant things to say, I've looked up some qu- some famous quotes from the Princess Diaries movie. Okay, perfect. Um, Let's go there. Some some that may like define what it is to be. A, a millennial from Genovia. Oh. Um, most of them come from Joe, who is I was the gonna queen's, say it's the like, um, butler, right? Is he a butler, chauffeur, he chauffeur like, does all the stuff. He, I mean, he is everything, the right hand man, yeah. and he swoons her at the end. That's right. So I think he's a butler. Yeah, he's the best. Um, but he has the best things to say, like nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Joe, Joe, a lo- uh, again. Okay. Um, I've never put on pantyhose before, but it sounds dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that scene. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe trying to remember Lana's friends, Anna, Falana, Banana, Bandana, Montana. <laughs> I love that scene. <laughs> We need to watch this movie. I know. Hey, Joe, can we park a block away from school? I really don't want to cause a riot with this hearse. Joe, this is a non-riot hearse. And if it were a hearse, there would be silence in the backseat. He's the driver. He is the driver. uh Yes. uh Oh, he's so snappy. Man, he is really... He is really the best. Joe, this is between a waltz and a tango. Mia, <laughs> it's a wango? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. We should move on with our lives. Oh. But that's a great movie. I can't. Oh, okay, last one. Mia, Joseph, can we 86 the flags, please? No, the flags allow me to park anywhere. We keep the flags. <laughs> Sorry, Joseph. You can call me Joe. Joey? No. Joe. <laughs> I remember that scene very vividly. And you just you just read the script very well. Yes. You just had a very nice table reading. I'm just I'm reading Jeanette McCurdy's memoir and I feel like an actress. I feel like I could oh, do it. Wow. Basically. <laughs> I could do it. <laughs> Okay, well, if we don't hear from Jen again, it's because she's pursued her. I'm in Hollywood. I've I've pursued my real dream (laughs) being a child actor. I'm late. I'm late. Very, very important date. Time is running out to score adult theme park tickets at child prices from Undercover Tourist. This summer, make your Walt Disney World vacation more affordable than ever. Escape into a place where magic has the power to transport you into stunning worlds and your favorite stories for less. Buy from Undercover Tourist, an authorized seller, and link to official Walt Disney World apps so you can add on Genie Plus and Lightning Lane upgrades easy. Book your adult theme park tickets at child prices with Undercover Tourist now and save. UndercoverTourist.com Hello, Saver. Whether you're saving for that trip to the tropics or saving for an emergency, now is the time to take advantage of Wells Fargo's savings options. 
Wells Fargo offers savings accounts that can help you save towards your goals. So, what are you saving for? Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com slash save to open a savings account today. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC. It's brand new, season two. I'm Marissa Thalberg. And I'm Stephen Wolf Bededa. And we're excited to be back having bigger, bolder, and always real conversations. Straight from the C-suite front lines of marketing, media, and more. We have great friends joining from people you may know, like Wilmer Valderrama and Bobby Burke. And people you'll want to know. So grab a coffee or, hey, even an Aperol Spritz and come join us on America's number one podcast network, iHeart. Listen to Brand New on the iHeart Radio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.